Hello guys, welcome to my page. Now this is my first ever YouTube video, so apologies that the, the actual sound of the video has been turned down. It's purely because the camera was mounted around my neck and just recording my breathing, so apologies. Now you'll see in this video, it's only a short one, and I'm pretty much just gonna show you how I open the end of the cable and what tools I use. So this joint that I'm going to be doing is a 33kV single core straight joint. I'm using a TE connectivity or Raycon heat sink term. You'll see I've marked it up, I've added 500mm on both sides of the lines. And I'm now just putting in a release of tensor. And get rid of them. Shout out to Velocity for the great tool bags. I see, absolutely love them. So now I'm going to be marking, I think it's 220 mil either side of the cable. Now this is where I'm going to strip the cable back to to reveal the air screen wires. Another shout out to Halter Falls ruler and pencil. Now get the gloves on, use a PF wipe and clean the outer sheath. This will just make the Ripley US15 a lot easier to use when I'm scoring the outer sheath. Now the Ripley US15, this can be used to, I think it's every 0.1 of a mil, up to I think it's 16 mil, but I'd have to look at that just to double check. But all I'm going to do now is a circumferential cut, and it's literally just above the screen wires so it doesn't actually touch them. And then you have three different spiral settings to be able to work my way back up the cable. I think every jointer should have one of these tools. It's far, far easier to use than a set of PG threes. And as if you've used a PG three before, you'll know that it's very easy to score them copper screen wires below. That's the first one done. Now I'll do the second. Loosen it off, change it to the biggest spiral, and then you'll see actually pulling it towards me is a lot easier than pushing away. I use my knife. Now, my usual setup, funny enough, is I have this knife in a holster on the side of my Snickers work trousers, along with the Hulterfalls dry marker and a one meter folding ruler. But now look how easy that is. No damage to them copper wire screens below. Lovely. Honestly, I'd say that's one of my favourite tools. I'm getting further over to the side, clean up after. Put the foil off. And 
bend the air screen wires back and just make sure that they're all separate. Why are these always a pain? At least the weather is nice and dry. I always, on any termination with the air screen wires, always use a cable tie just to, to hold them all into the cable and to be fair, I can always push it down and it keeps them separated. But yeah, there's no moisture barrier on this termination. Tear off the black moisture wrap. Chuck it in the bin. Now I need to measure back from the air screen wire. Don't find my pencil, there it is. Now Now you'll see in some of my videos on other social media accounts that I use a hydraulic cutter. But uh, I always do the final cut with either just a chainsaw or a bandsaw just because it leaves me a nice square flush cut. So that contractor bag, isn't it nice? Now the GOAT, the Ripley USO2 semicon stripping tool. Now you'll see with this, you don't need any grease. Uh, it runs all the way around the cable on ball bearings. Now you'll see I've tightened it to the cable. I've set the speed to one. And now I'm just adapting, adjusting the depth of the knife to remove that semicon nice and easy. Now, setting up the tool is always a bit of a pain, but you just do it in little increments until you've got a nice clean cut. And tie it back so you can run the tool all the way around the cable. The first one didn't go well, try again. Please have a bit of patience with me, this is the first time I've ever used this camera and it's the Osmo Pocket 3. I'm amazed with the quality but trying to record myself in a POV is uh, pretty challenging. get near that cut and then the final one just to make sure it is 50 mil 
take the uh, cutting edge off. Light it up. Done. This one is very satisfying. Now this is the Arrock insulation remover. I think it's, I can't even remember what it's called. Again, tighten this onto the cable and then adjust the depth of the knife, just so it's enough to score the insulation, but leave the black wrap underneath, so you don't damage the core. It does come with two handles, but I always prefer just to use one and go around it in circles. Find it a lot quicker and easier. Now I've taken this down to the depth of the lug which off the top of my head I can't remember. Yeah, this is one of the first videos I've actually worn gloves throughout termination I'm normally not wearing and I get a lot of hate for it but now just using my Stanley knife just to take that plastic wrap around the cable now you'll see I'm pulling the material against the knife so I don't score the core there we go Now that's ready to put a cut. Sorry, that's ready now to put the uh, lug on, the stress control, and the other side of the cable once it's done. 